good morning everybody <coughs> today we'll discuss the third part of uh, viraj planning so we'll start with uh, the methodology of viraj planning we'll cover uh, the background of viraj planning and we'll also cover the root sequence rsi and the preamble sequence so along with that we'll provide the purpose of viraj planning so let's uh, get set and ready for the session and i want this session to be a little bit more interactive so after this session what i would like you to do is uh, please note down whatever you have planned do your self studies and uh, please uh, in the comment below the video please uh, you know specify or uh, add the points or highlight the points which you have learned from the session so that it will be more useful for others and uh, it will be a very interactive session so good luck for that so let's go about this uh, methodology purpose and background of pirates planning followed by ncs uh, root sequence and the preamble sequence so first of all we will go for uh, the methodology of this uh, pirates planning so always remember a few points before we go to the methodology always uh, assign the best root sequence uh, of the selected cell that's that's the number one point we should remember secondly uh, cell radius that we need to take a best and coverage predictions or as per the planner's input uh, you know uh, usually uh, we just keep it as big as possible uh, to have a guaranteed uh, use distance and ensure no interference uh, so we'll have a best plan for our uh, sales so i'll go uh, detail in the methodology now uh, to start with uh, we should uh, select a sale uh, more significantly uh, we have to sell the uh, choose the best sale uh, then we should acquire the ncs the second step we should acquire a quantity of root sequence of the cell then we should assign the best root sequence for the cell according to certain algorithm uh, along with that uh, we'll go a little bit uh, you know uh, for the principle of the pirage planning what should be the principles when we plan for the pirage uh, high priority cells or high speed cells or wide radio coverage uh, cells and um, you know or reuse distance so what what is the actual coverage arch for the prediction of that cell so these are some principles of uh, pirage planning uh, again uh, i would uh, like to uh, you know cover uh, the purpose of pirage uh, i think i have already covered in many of the sessions but still for your knowledge and information uh to uh, start the pirage planning uh, what the purpose is uh, mainly to choose a proper preamble format this is very important let's say we are having uh, i discussed in the previous chapters we are having uh, four different preamble formats 0 1 2 3 and uh, in all the format we are having different Uh, distance to cover different uh, multipath delay uh, different uh, preamble sequence a uh, timing and different cyclic prefix so uh, we need to choose very wisely what what is the format required and we cannot uh, repeat the format in neighboring cells also that is second point you need to remember you have to use the same kind of format to have least interference if the pirage uh, timing is same in all the neighboring cells then then the uh, you know interference will be least if we we'll choose different format maybe some pucch will overlap the timing of pirage of the neighboring cell that time it will create a lot of uh, unnecessary interference in the system so to balance that we need to choose a ideal format for our network whatever is required for the iceland cells we can definitely choose uh, other formats but for a group of area or of a particular geographical area you need to choose this uh, preamble format very wisely so that you uh, 
have least interference in the system. That's what the main purpose is. Uh, secondly, the sail radius. Very wisely, you have to choose the sail radius. Uh, you cannot uh, choose different sail radius. Again, it will impact the planning. So you should have a proper sail reuse uh, radius. Yeah, definitely for a particular geographical location or a particular geographical area. Uh, then what kind of path delay we should like multipath delay to be adopted that also we need to do some study what kind of format format we use uh, uh, to use uh, during the pirage planning so that we'll get the adequate multipath delay we shouldn't uh, choose a format where having much delay which is really not required for us and we shouldn't choose least delay uh, because that will create uh, some synchronization issue also so we should choose this multipath delay and uh, which kind of format to be used uh, in the Viraj planning then the second uh, purpose uh, to configure proper time resource for Viraj that means uh, if time resource like preamble sequence or the other resource uh, if it is not used properly then it will impact the access cap capacity and uh, to reduce interference between neighboring cells also we need to choose this uh, proper time resource uh, during pH planning and the third purpose would be uh, configuring the different root sequence index for neighboring cells that is very important again to minimize interference and uh, you know confusion when accessing uh, pH if you are using the same root sequence in the neighboring cell also it will definitely create confusion and interference in the system so to reduce interference between neighboring cells and uh, uh, guarantee maximum random access success you need to have different root sequence or RSI for neighboring cells so this is all uh, about uh, the purpose of uh, you know Viraj planning so we have covered the methodology the purpose and uh, you know uh, this uh, background for the PRH planning now we'll move towards uh, uh, the RSI and uh, the preamble part so uh, root sequence is uh, as I told it's very important so the total root sequence length is 839 one number one to remember for you uh, sequence quantity would be from uh, 0 to 837 and uh, total number is 838 including 0 so three points to remember sequence length sequence length is 839 total number sequence 838 and uh, uh, the numbers are from 0 to 837 then the classification of the root sequence is two types uh, we have two groups like low speed and high speed, high speed group and uh, 32 subgroups that I'll, I'll tell in the very last session and I'll show you some uh, excel work that how normally it is planned how the 30, 32 subgroups is planned or you know how this two high speed or low speed and what are the related parameters accordingly so I'll, I'll tell you in the last session and uh, the last one is uh, last information you should know the sequence number for uh, ordered root sequence you know, uh, that is related to the logical uh, root sequence index so a logical root sequence is used to have the sequence number of the ordered root sequence so again for that also we are having a table so I'll tell all these examples and some uh, real uh, uh, planning uh, table or excel set in the last session so this is for your understanding this is all about the root sequence and we plan this arch per low speed high speed or you know this 32 subgroup uh, uh, you know this this is basically used uh, to support maximum cyclic shifts the 32 subgroup uh, or the maximum uh, cell radius for high speed cells and uh, that's all about the root sequence and moving towards the preamble sequence I've already told you and uh, to repeat that also we are having 64 preamble 
sequence are required for each cell. Preamble sequence is derived from uh, definitely root sequence. So, and uh, another thing uh, which you need to know is NCS or the cyclic shifts for preamble generation. So that is one of the point uh, you should remember the NCS. So all three basic parameters are root sequence. We already discussed preamble sequence, 64 preambles, and the NCS or the cyclic shift for preamble generation. So these are the three important points. Uh, you should it should be uh, understood before we start the planning. Uh, in the last session, uh, we'll be covering some real excels, some excel work or some planning, real planning work. Uh, so please uh, stay tuned do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button below this video and as I told in the beginning uh, we'll make it a uh, little bit more interactive so I want you to brief the points what you've learned from this session and put in the comments below so that I also able to know that you're really watching this video and learning something so that's that's a little bit of uh, effort from our side from your side from our side to make this session more interactive and more interesting and it will be useful for others who will see your comments uh, it will be useful for them if they can to watch the video so they can take down the points and really understand what is there in the video so that's the work uh, uh, i'm requesting you to do and uh, uh, stay safe stay alive and be happy thank you so much bye bye